Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks Build and Rescue video. Today we've got something very interesting to show you guys, and uh, it actually involves the new update. So, the new update itself actually introduced coal and nuclear power to the game, and uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be using this custom fuel port, which actually works, it's fully functional, uh, to fill up the hoppers on this ship, and um, yeah, that's, that's essentially what we're going to do today. So, let's go ahead and uh, move this ship forwards. So we can actually put it underneath here, and then we'll start loading it up full of coal. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Hey! Alright, so we've gone ahead and we've got on top of the boat, or inside of the boat, I should say. And we're going to go ahead and close the door, sit in this little seat. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on the wheelhouse lights, the navigation lights, the deck lights, and also, not the spotlights. Uh, right, okay, so we actually have the ignition right here. We can then go ahead and start going forwards. That enables the clutch. Uh, if we go forwards like this, there we go. Awesome. Uh, and there we go. We're moving. All right. That is perfect, actually. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to jump out of this seat. Um, we're going to go ahead and make this zero. There we go. And uh, we're going to run down the side. And I don't know whether the winch at the front actually works. I'm going to go ahead and assume it doesn't, but um, it would be cool if it did. Yeah, so what I want to do is attach it to here. Jump off the ship itself onto the dock. There we go. Move it all the way forwards. Attach it onto here, which is like a little bollard thing. Um, and yeah, we should be able to like pull it, but I don't think this winch is actually functional. Which kind of, kind of sucks. Alright, well anyway, that doesn't matter all that much. We're going to go ahead and make sure that we do end up underneath the thing. Uh, at least enough to fill up one of our cargo holds. Of course, we do have four, so if we miss the first one, we've obviously got the next three after that to do some work with. So, uh, let's just keep chugging forwards as slowly as we possibly can. Uh, and I will try and fill up all of them if I possibly can as well. Uh, but obviously, boats don't stop instantly. Uh, however, I think it will stop pretty soon. Alright, very good. Uh, I want to tie it up as soon as we can as well, so let's go ahead and grab this, attach it under here, and whack it under there. Very good. Uh, and that's awesome. Yes. So, in order to actually use this thing, there is an elevator. Let's go ahead and start. Oh, no, wait. No, wait, 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 wait. We need to open up the cargo hold first. All right, we've opened up that one. Let's go ahead and open up this one. And we'll open up the other two as well, just because we can. Um, and then we'll jump onto the dock again. Here we go. Yes. Uh, and that should be pretty well lined up. That's awesome. Right, so get on the elevator. Go up the elevator. Here we go. This is pretty cool. This is really, really cool. Uh, as soon as we get to the tippity top, there's the little house thing uh, that we have to go inside of. Here we go. Uh, we can turn the lights on inside of here. We've got open funnel. Now, what that does is it actually allows it to start pumping out, uh, which works. Pretty cool, but that's fine. Anyway, down. We're going to lower it down until we get to a point somewhat like this. Awesome. And then we're going to start opening the funnel. And it should start pumping the coal out, which indeed it does. That is so cool. All right, so now that that's actually pumping, we're going to go ahead and uh, actually take a little look around. So obviously this dock is completely custom. Uh, they've actually built it off of the main dock on the north harbor of Sawyer Island or the Sawyer Isles, which is pretty cool. So um, yeah, if we run back this way, there's obviously a conveyor belt up there. Uh, I will show you guys that in a second. Let me go ahead and run up there. Here we go. There's ladders to get up here. And we've obviously got coal ducts, which head into that little house right there. But they go all the way along this gantry thing, all the way to the end. And then they turn, they go that way. Uh, it actually pushes it into there, which is pretty cool. And then that drops it out into the hoppers, which is amazing. That is actually super cool. Uh, you can actually get up from there as well. Uh, if you go from the house, you can go up to the top of this tower and... That's pretty awesome. There's no real reason to do that, though, but it is a possibility. Uh, anyway, let's go back this way. Have a little look inside this house, uh, because we can. Yeah. So, on this side, we've obviously got these little hoppers, uh, which are full. If you wanted to, you can actually deliver coal here. So, you would end up driving down here, uh, drop the coal off in here, and that'll fill up the stocks uh, in order to put them on a ship, which is amazing. That is actually amazing. Uh, if we go inside the building... There is a light switch right here, but it doesn't seem to do much. It doesn't really do much. The lights don't really light up this room very well. Anyway, we've got a bunch of equipment right there. Uh, we've obviously got this that takes it up and out. And that's pretty much it for this building. So let's go ahead and leave this building alone. We'll close the door. And uh, 
we'll get back to our ship. Okay, so the ship itself is actually called the Kiska. It looks awesome, but uh, let's go ahead and jump on board. And, uh, ooh, the coal is starting to miss because reasons. I can't actually, like, push this along, which sucks a little bit. But uh, a lot of the coal is still getting in, which is awesome. Anyway, let's have a little look inside there. So, as you can see, as the coal actually gets dumped in, the hopper does actually start filling up, which is pretty cool. If we go back this way, let me close this one. Uh, you can see that this one is actually empty. Uh, and you can see that it's empty because there's not very much coal in there. So, um, yeah, this one's actually starting to get pretty full too. Yeah, that's nice. It's really nice. All right, let's have a little look around the ship. So, in here we've got the galley. This is obviously where you eat and also cook food, which is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and close that up. Inside of here we've got a cabin. This is where two people can sleep. That's pretty cool. We've got another cabin back here as well. And uh, we've obviously got this. Whoa, which is the head, apparently. Uh, which is where you go for poo poo pee pee. And you can also have a shower in there too. Uh, on this side, we've obviously got another cabin. Where you can store two more people. Uh, another one with two more people. And then we've got the engine room. If we come inside and go down the ladder, uh, we've got the engine. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Awesome. We've then got tunnels down the each side of the actual hoppers. And if we go this way... We can get inside the hull itself and presumably do repairs and things. But, um, yeah, we don't need to be in here right now. So let's leave. Yeah. And that's pretty much it for downstairs. Let's go ahead and go upstairs a little bit. We do obviously have a lifeboat right here. Uh, we got some tires and some decorations. Uh, this, obviously, you just attach it and then sit in there and then hope for the best, I guess. Um, and that's pretty cool. If we go inside of here, uh, we've got a fly gun. We've got a little seat. We've got a little storage cupboard. We've also got a clock and uh, some other things, which is awesome. Um, I am actually going to move the ship forwards because I should. Here we go. There we go, indeedy. We're getting dragged backwards. Oh, God. Actually, let's reverse. Let's reverse. This is technically like a two-person job, but um, there is not two of me here, so... It makes it a little bit interesting, a little bit, a little bit difficult. Also, I am attached to the dock, which doesn't necessarily help us out in this situation. Not really. In fact, it doesn't. That's kind of annoying. But look at it. It's dumping it into the water because I've managed to do whatever the heck I'm doing. Um, yeah. Okay, so realistically, we just need to get rid of this uh, if we possibly can. There we go. Detach the rope. Uh, and then we should reverse the ship and stuff like that. One thing that I do wish worked is if we attach the rope onto the front right there, look at all the coal. If we attach the rope onto the uh, onto the front right there, we'd be able to pull it, but that's not a thing. Like, we can't do that. So I guess the way that I would fix that, in this situation, is I'd put winches inside of these uh, in order to actually have a button to pull the ship in. Because uh, that would be pretty cool. But anyway, let's get back on board, and we'll try and position ourselves so we're not dumping coal into the water anymore. Alright, so this is actually more difficult than I thought. Uh, if this thing had, like, bow thrusters, I guess, it would make it easier. Uh, and I don't think this ship currently actually has that. So, we're just going to go ahead and open up this hopper. Uh, and hope that that actually reaches it. Because we've got coal everywhere. And it is actually everywhere. But, um, I'm trying my best. I am trying my best. Okay, finally I've parked it at least a little bit properly. So, if I can somewhat grab this, that would be amazing. There we go. Uh, and I can attach it under there. There we go, that's awesome! So now the boat won't actually, like, escape us. Or maybe it will, but, like, it won't. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, let's go ahead and attach this under here. Jump across onto said vessel. And run across to the back, and we can attach it onto here too. There we go, so now we are actually filling up the right hopper. And, um, that's amazing! There we go! Awesome! Alright, well anyway, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Essentially what we wanted to do is we wanted to actually try and use out this thing. Or use this thing, and we did in fact use it, and it actually works awesome. Uh, the boat itself is actually pretty cool too. Of course it doesn't have bow thrusters or anything like that, but I don't think it's supposed to. It's supposed to be kind of like an old vessel, uh, and kind of small, which uh, indeed it is. It's got four hoppers, uh, and that is pretty awesome. But um, this thing is located at a harbor, where you can actually like bring a train in that let's say has lots and lots of um, hoppers on board. Uh, and you can just bring it in, you can unload it onto a lorry, you then move the lorry over to this over here, and you can dump it into these places, and then once you've dumped it into there, it's all in the system, and you can push it all the way through the pipes, all the way through this, and onto a ship, 
which then you go and sell the coal from, which is pretty cool. That is actually really, really, really cool. I like it. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and jump back on here for now. Do, 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 do. There we go. We're going to go ahead and stop it from piling out. And, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and lift it up. And I guess we'll leave this here. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say... Uh, thank you guys very 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 much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video And uh, if you guys want to use out any of these creations or either of these creations uh, They will both be linked down below. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye